Someone is wanting to re reunite with you or speak with you. This is someone who is trying to be charming about it because they're very de determined. I feel this is someone who went out of their way to disrespect you or the connection or even tradition. Now they could be in a place of higher learning when it comes to their beliefs. Here would be two of swords energy. I feel like this energy is a, at a crossroads, trying to make some type of difficult decision when it comes to their environment and even the trust between the two of you. We have that Hierophant energy here for Wands as well as the Knight of Cups. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is regarding a legacy, a family unit, or a foundation where there should have been a higher commitment. Three of Pentacles is letting me know this energy never really truly put in the effort with you. King of Swords energy. This energy failed to be logical. They're still not seeing something for what it is. But I also feel with the Four of Cups, they're contemplating about something because of the distance or the disconnect. Five of Swords here. Five of Swords, Five of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. So this is someone who has been disruptive or they're having some type of stress. This is bully energy of someone who brings a lot of conflict because of their ego. I feel there is tension and stress when dealing with this energy because many of you could be dealing with competition or a rival. Ten of Wands is letting me know this is a heavy burden of stress. Someone is feeling defeated or burnt out hmm. because of a tower moment. Someone is feeling defeated due to a tower moment that they created. I feel this is someone who didn't realize that they will be on the losing team. I feel this could be a sudden change as something is crumbling down to the ground. There is chaos and destruction within an illusion that only created a lot of confusion. Now there's a sense of uncertainty. Seven of Wands is definitely someone who is sitting in a space where they're lying, being dishonest, conning, avoiding the truth. The moon is letting me know this is all an illusion. This is something that someone put together through a false narrative. I feel like this energy is nostalgic, six of cups. They're thinking about the past. This is cups energy here, all in a row. This energy is thinking about the past and how they demeaned you or dismissed you in some type of way because now they feel justice is being played out through their life. Someone is definitely finding it hard to sleep. Wow, Nine of Swords. There's a lot of depression and anxiety, whether it's related to you or something else. Someone is really going through it here. This Tower moment is letting me know this is sudden change for someone who didn't see something coming. Someone didn't see their fall coming. This, there's a fall from grace where someone was telling complete lies. Five of Pentacles here is someone going through a lot of loss, hardship, unemployment someone is truly struggling this energy could also be retired please take it how it resonates with your message but i feel there's a lot of trauma grief and sorrow connected to their energy three of swords which is also creating the sleepless nights i feel this energy is in conflict because of their ego and pride now they're dealing with harsh consequences that is attached to justice fairness karma this is law and integrity. Ten of Swords is letting me know this energy. No, they failed. They feel defeated. So someone was definitely trying to create a narrative about you. Now they're trying to plan. Because something has died. Something has been taken away. I feel many of you have to clear something away here with the Queen of Swords energy. You seek fairness and truth. And I also feel many of you are very cutthroat about it. I feel this. there's a lot of objective in your energy. And you could be determined to be successful regardless of what they're trying to do to you. Because I see you moving forward. I see you moving forward in success, eight of swords, while they're strapped and restricted because of their victim mentality. This energy is starting to feel hopeless, powerless, because they stayed blind. They wanted to pretend that you were a fool for your freedom. Now they're thinking about the possibilities because there's no victory. 
there is no victory in being cutthroat when it comes to you because now you are defending yourself seven of wands this elephant energy is letting me know that you haven't forgot someone wants you to forget through time someone thought that time would easily set them free of responsibility but now they're having sleepless nights because of a sudden change a tower moment I feel this tower moment is connected to you walking away and letting go. These energies feel like you left them behind. But I feel something was fated to happen. Five of Cups in the reverse. This is someone who is going through a lot of grief and loss. But I feel they were fated to do so with all of the problems they have caused. This energy knows that you are abundant. This energy also knows that you are generous, caring, nurturing, and fully capable of doing something yourself. This is why they're feeling left behind Six of Swords, knowing that you have courage and strength to move on without them. Yet these energies are sitting in some very addictive or toxic energy, codependent energy. This is lover's energy. There could be two or more energies here that you're up against. Who is very curious about you, Page of Swords? I feel you have to move on and create some type of distance between the two of you or against these energies. I feel many of you went against the odds. Two of Cups is due to some type of close bond or a connection that should have been spiritual. Nine of Cups is letting me know you have wish fulfillment and these energies also have wish fulfillments. So they see you as a high priestess energy who has hidden knowledge. Very tapped into your intuition someone is trying to manifest you but this energy hasn't they don't have the willpower to do so the position because there was no reward in what they were seeking fast movement someone is wanting to do something quickly make a quick decision when it comes to you this could be sudden change some something's about to happen when it comes to progress queen of wands someone knows that you are determined and you don't want to wait Four of Pentacles. This could also be their energy of not wanting to wait because they see a cycle ending here. There is a cycle closing where they thought they were winning, you are winning instead. Wow. This is someone who tested your boundaries, your limits. Hoarding or holding back. These are some energies who, who are dealing with some deep insecurities and I feel like they were very stingy with you. Now there is a sense of awakening reflecting someone wanting to return because they're being judged i feel these energies realize you're on your way to t your ten of cups energy of being happy without them finding harmony within your family or your stability because you're very ambitious <sighs> yet these energies are seeking control these are energies who are in a high position or should be a leader but they have taken advantage of their position by using their ego, their pride, their emotions to guide their way. These are energies who are wanting to be very assertive with you. They're wanting to celebrate with you, celebrate your success or your victory. Yet they may be trying to not seem so eager. Wow, because these energies was very cutthroat with you. They're trying to be practical about the situation. They're looking forward to talking or coming towards you with effort. Yet I feel in the past these energies looked at you as a black sheep or they felt superior towards you. Now they're coming to a realization here with the Nine of Wands. They're wanting compassion from you, Queen of Cups. Warmth. They see you as a healer. A dreamer. Hmm. But I feel in so many ways, four sources letting me know you may be taking a break, resting your energy, or putting something behind you for good. You're in hermit mode. So I feel like, well, <laughs> I feel like for many of you, you're in hermit mode because you're attracted to something else. Someone is attracted to you. I feel you're also using your creativity, Ace of Wands. I feel like in the energy of hermit, you're doing bold things, king of swords, someone knows that you're very wise. Someone knows that you're wise, but they treat you like a fool. Now they want to balance something here with the two of pentacles. They're wanting to be flexible with you because I feel like they're also wanting your resources. 
they want peace and tra tranquility, but I feel they are also wanting something, something from you. A new opportunity. They see that you are prospering. But I feel they're also still living in some type of fantasy or illusion when it comes to affairs of the heart. There are many involved here. I feel there's a sense of excitement here, Page of Wands, but these are very poor communicators. And it may come off as them being somewhat fake, phony, when it comes to communicating or revealing something to you. These are energies who have definitely done a lot of things to you thinking that they would never have to deal with the consequences of their choices yet i feel in so many ways they're dealing with that right now because something has definitely come to a completion something has definitely ended you're coming out as an empress energy as well as the high priestess they're right on top of each other it's two and three this energy is coming out as low vibrational devil energy and there's no way they can manifest you in this low vibrational energy, which is bringing the traps, restrictions, someone feeling hopeless, as it seems they were completely lost with their intentions towards you. For many of you, this is someone who doesn't even remember what the issue really is, why they're upset with you or envious of you. Yet I sense it, it's all because of the way you move, how you're able to move on or seem unbothered let's get a little bit more energy here i feel someone underestimated your strength your power your energy you're coming out as someone who knows better so in many ways you do better yeah these are energies who want you to be open these energies want you to be open to criticism as you evolve someone is wanting to take the credit these are energies who are very narcissistic, shallow traits, no self-focus, and they're very inconsiderate and arrogant. As it seems, they are reactive, quick to chaos or turmoil. These are energies who don't take criticism very well. These are energies who are coming out as perfectionists, displeased with most things. But I feel they're all or nothing when it comes to an unrealistic high expectation. As these energies were trying to defeat you in some type of way. These are energies who are often expecting the worst and now they're receiving it, that energy in return. These are energies who keep a lot of secrets. Who are definitely likely to betray, betray your trust. I feel they are very obsessive. They have an imprisonment imprisonment mindset. Wow. I sense they have this mindset because they are consumed by topics, ideas, and even the thought of you as they claim to be superior, but they're very antagonistic. These energies are instigators. They're always stirring up some type of trouble, creating some type of conflict and calculating on ways on how to push a button to provoke you. These energies pretend to be superior, above you, or boastful, condescending when it comes to you. I feel these energies are always trying to dismiss you, minimize, or undermine you. Just to feel better about self, these energies are very detached. These energies are coming out as detached and rigid as they are not flexible with their thoughts or behavior patterns, but I also feel like they're dealing with some outdated beliefs, uptight energy of someone who is never willing to compromise with you. I feel like this energy is detached, disconnected, and disengaged when it comes to feelings. They're isolated, cold, and they're never really logical about their harsh ways of being as there could be some type of distance between the two because this energy is always flaky with you. Hmm. I feel like this energy is very flaky. They have a lot of ideas, but this, there's no follow through. And they don't like to be criticized about it. This energy is very egotistical and rigid, always finding the worst in situations, especially when it comes to you. 
This is someone who's keeping a big secret. This is trivial energy who is focusing on things that have little value or importance. This energy is coming out as shallow. Who has a mindset of being one dimensional? <laughs> but they also feel like they're the savior. This is someone who tries to save everyone else just to keep them fixing self. This energy feels like they are superior in many ways, but I feel they're just full of drama and believing they know it all. This is a know-it-all energy here. Who thought that they were making the right choice when deceiving you? But I feel this drama only backfired. I feel like this energy creates a lot of drama attracts a lot of drama as well as their life is very chaotic unstable I feel this energy is unstable when it comes to relationships not just with you but those they surround themselves with because they do feel like the savior they feel like they're above the rest and they are superior to others but this is the sacrimonious energy of someone who is acting as if they're morally better than others self-righteous Wow, this is someone who has done a lot of unforgivable things to you. A lot of unforgivable things through their destructive way of being. Hmm. Wow. So in so many ways, I feel like this is someone who never really showed you any mercy. They have destroyed relationships through their goals of trying to cause some type of stress with you. Because someone is fearing your success. And this energy is extremely toxic. As I said before, this is someone who is very flaky when it comes to you. And they have done a lot of things through drama that is very unforgivable. But they also feel like a saver. Like they saved you or you owe, they, you owe them something. But I feel they're being very excessive. Hmm. Going beyond, beyond and above to cause some type of mayhem for you. I feel like this is someone who did something too much and they went above and beyond to mock you, laugh at you. Now they're receiving that energy instead. These are energies who are definitely unethical. This energy is coming out as a lawbreaker, a fraud, someone who is catty, hmm, spiteful, and has a sense of smugness. Yet this energy is very needy when it comes to others. This is someone who is needy and sitting in a space of being entitled as this energy is coming out as a taker, not a giver. This is someone who is needy, who requires a lot of attention, support. They're very clingy and smothering. This energy is entitled, believing you owe them. This is someone who is very unrealistic when it comes to expectations and they're very self-centered. And as I said before, they're coming out as a taker, someone who takes more than they give. I feel this is someone who is very thoughtless when it comes to draining others, and I also think they're jaded. Jaded to their own harsh ways, as this energy is very destructive, but also feeling superior to others. As I said before, this energy is very trivial. They're focusing on the wrong things and very obsessive when it comes to you. This energy is sitting in a space where they feel like they're better than others and they're very critical about it. But I feel this is also reflecting or attached to their instigator ways. I feel like this energy is attached to some deep things when it comes to a self-sabotaging way of being. But I also feel like they have this sanctimonious energy of believing you truly owe them. But they never really gave you much. This is someone who is sitting in some very egotistical ways and causing a lot of drama. Even though they want you to open up, they see you as a star. This energy knows that they owe you more than what was given, but they feel like you have already cleared them away, Queen of Swords. I feel this tower moment was created because of your distance or your silence or even the fact that you may have walked away from someone who pushed you away. I feel you just finally had enough. Wow. So, 
someone who is very addictive or has some very addictive personality traits, I feel like they're restless and facing a lot of delays because of their irrational ways. I feel this energy wants you to open up, but there's too much drama. Many of you are not even looking back. You're not even bothered or even thinking about them, yet they're thinking about you. There's a addictive personality here where someone could be addicted to the tension, the chaos, the dysfunction, and I feel that keeps you on the defense when it comes to them. Because someone is definitely over manipulating a situation. I feel like this energy is coming out as fake or you may see them as false because they're all about appearances and many of their actions is only to please others. This energy is superficial, somewhat of a copycat. They're not genuine at all as this energy is coming out as someone who spread rumors and lies about you. They love drama. They love the gossip. As well as to snitch. Someone is bad mouthing you. But they're also knowing that they can't keep something a secret for too long. This is someone who may have dual personalities, toxic ways, very stubborn, and very gullible. Someone wants you to be gullible to a situation, please take it how it resonates. But this is someone who is fixed or set on some type of opinion. They refuse to change and they're very difficult to deal with. I feel this is someone who may be living a double life and they're all about appearances and this is why they're talking down on you trying to lift themselves up thinking that you will be easily triggered or duped by their toxic ways but I feel there's no trust here there's no respect and this is why many of you are refusing to be bothered with it I feel this energy they try to use you as an escape goat someone tried to use you as a scapegoat through some type of game paradox where their actions contradicted your personal beliefs or even the things they said. These are energies who contradict themselves often. They're very inconsistent and they like to argue. They like the tension. They like to be combative with you. I feel this energy is very tricky. Hmm. They're coming out as someone who is very deceitful, manipulating situations and abusing their power. This is someone who is hmm, double dealing, trying to get away with something strategically, and they're very wasteful. This is someone who uses and disposes things and people as, as if it's nothing, but I feel they were unaware of your true potential, and they did a lot of things blindly because they never truly considered the truth, consequences, or even reality. But I feel you've definitely taken something to a new level. You're projecting positive energy while they're projecting very toxic energy, yet they're still trying to justify their actions or their controlling ways. I feel like they're trying to control something here. They're very reckless, wanting you to be guarded, because they're envious and they're about to be very <sighs> boastful about something. Someone wants to come your way, even though they know they blamed you in the past. This is someone who is always blaming others for mistakes. There is no accountability here. And for many of you, you feel like they are always walking away as if they're unbothered by your feelings. I feel this is someone who's very vulgar, rude, and disrespectful towards you. Where many of you may have had to be blunt with them. This is why they feel like whatever you have to say may cut deep. This is someone who is very envious of you. They desire your position, wanting more control, or there's a competitive nature here where someone is really bitter. Hmm. Wanting you to be guarded, closed off, trusting no one. But I feel you're moving in different areas, moving into different spaces, and someone is trying to be passive about it. Someone is trying to pretend like they don't see it. Wow. Someone's trying to pretend like they're not curious about you, yet they're still observing you in some type of way. And also, learning some lessons. These are energies who are trying to be passive, allowing things to just happen. But I feel allowing things to just happen has caused them to put themselves in a very desperate situation. Someone is going to unveil something to you. Yet I feel 
something about this is very overwhelming forceful or somewhat annoying I feel like you're guarded you're guarded towards them because you're suspicious and they're guilty of breaking tradition these are energies who are very wild you feel like this can't be tamed and this is why many of you could be walking away from this I feel there's also an addictive personality here where someone is unable to work well with others Hmm. Yet I feel they're so rest, restless, wanting to give up the fight because they feel like you won't, you won't give in, or they're starting to realize they were always meant to lose. I feel like you could be elusive with this situation, runner energy. This is something you may have ran from after you realized how toxic someone was, or the fact that they were never going to change. But I do see regret here for their bad decisions. Their impulsive ways when it comes to you, they definitely saw you as the underdog. But I feel they're starting to regret that now. That consequence and karma has stepped in. Someone is regretting their actions, but they're realizing you just might not see things the same or you don't see things the way that they do. I feel there's forgiveness in your heart, but there's not a lot of trust or respect here. These energies want you to be open open to a conversation, open to resurrecting something. But I feel many of you are not willing to put yourself in this dark energy with them again because this energy wanted you to be guarded. They'll always be in the position of wanting to test you. I feel these energies are trying to control a narrative. And that's why they're somewhat restless because you're not guarded and using you as a scapegoat didn't even work. Let's get a little bit more energy, of course. If you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So let's jump into the energy here, Holy Spirit. What are the messages here for the collective energies? What are the cards here that just represent the message or the reading? So there is strategy here. Someone was definitely trying to be strategic with you, bring you out cause doubt someone also neglected the innocent this is someone who should have been the yin to your yang and they still feel some type of magnetic attraction to you but they were trying to smooth talk their way out of something or, or into something or try to convince others to be subjective when thinking of you i feel like these energies are coming out as instigators in a situation where they are keeping secrets or stashing away something holding something back but I feel someone is coming up empty or they could be struggling financially so for some of you someone could be in a position where they're not giving in or not putting into the home anymore someone could be losing their home and strapped for cash someone was stocking something or breadcrumbing you and now they feel like you're going to do the same to them someone needs your help hmm. but they feel like they burnt you out even though they want to talk, this energy knows they've been very strategic with you and they can't talk their way out of this. I feel like these are people you haven't seen in a while or there's a lot of distance here. I feel like there's a lot of distance as it seems to be two or more energies who may be in a close bond or toxic marriage who is starting to regret their intentions of trying to intentionally cause friction and drama in your life as they have given fake love while smiling in your face yet creating obstacles behind the scenes these are energies who are trying to prolong something emotionally physically mentally trying to stress you out wanting you to react or reach out or need them someone is realizing you may not need them at all i feel like in many ways these are energies who are trying to hold you hostage within a situation finding some type of pleasure in it bleeding you dry or being dishonest but i feel these are energies who were depriving you at their own expense i feel like these are energies who tried to hold you hostage through lies sabotage betrayal wanting you to defend yourself through their betrayals i feel like these are energies who violated your trust intentionally through their actions and strategy 
I feel like these are energies who has a very big ego. This is an inflated ego for someone who was trying to finesse a situation. Someone was trying to man manipulate a situation through trickery, de deception, a facade. And in doing so, they overdid it. Someone was very overindulgent when it comes to fabricating stories and telling lies. I feel these energies were on a mission, on a mission to keep you tied and strapped down to this chaotic situation that has now become a burden for them. I feel these energies were on a mission to burden you, isolate you, create differences. But I feel there are some underlying situations here that caused you to cut ties. Something expired. Many of you disconnected from this because you no longer feel safe in their hands. I feel there's a lot of competition here where someone is giving a lot of toxic energy, toxic love, and they were never satisfied. I also feel this has definitely reached its peak. Something has now failed. There's no going back. I feel something has reached its peak when it comes to someone antagonizing you or trying to put a key in your bag, trying to provoke you in every way. Now things are silent, you're unresponsive, and possibly even cleaning house. Someone knows they went too far. Someone knows they went too far with competition or trying to win at all costs because they're, they're now seeing how big of a big of a fail it was because you're cleaning house and taking control of a situation that is definitely out of control. These are energies I feel like we're trying to control you mentally, emotionally, trying to dis cause distress in your life, but now they're feeling like they've been canceled. The relationship, the commitment, the energy between the two of you no longer exists because they disappointed you in every way. Now, they could be admiring you from afar, but many of you already have PTSD from this. Uh, there's too much stress. There's too much disorder. There is too much dysfunction. And I sense just because they were unfulfilled and unsatisfied with their own life, they caused you a great deal of disappointment. I feel many of you had to clean house because you didn't feel safe in their hands because they're always fabricating stories about you or doing things with intention and never being accountable, causing many of you to see the truth, see the difference between you and them, because you and them, you are not the same, causing many of you to just cut your losses and cut ties. I feel you cutting ties has now become a, a real burden for them. Even though they were very strategic and tried to betray you through lies, trying to hold you hostage through trauma bonding, someone tries to finesse this situation because they had an inflated ego. Someone didn't feel like they were going to lose, so they took every shot against you and still failed. Let's get some more energy here, Holy Spirit. What are the messages here for the collective energies? Oh. Some of the cards here that best represent the message. Three. These are energies who wanted to isolate you. They wanted you to be alone. They wanted you to be so guarded that you never let anyone in. This is a cult-like way of being where someone is not who they say they are. They're only presenting themselves as a nice guy or a nice person. But that is not the truth. This is cult-like energy of someone who is strange and sinister and wanting to put you in a space where you felt alone. <laughs> Yet I friends, many of you are taking a chance of taking a risk in a different direction. As I said before, you are cleaning house and you have no apologies for it. Now many are sitting in a space where they regret ever testing you. Someone definitely felt they were too big to fail. They tried to finesse something. Now you are cleaning house. Someone tried to finesse or manipulate a situation through deception. And they overdid it. Now they're feeling burdened and stressed out, burnt out, wanting to come your way regardless. But they don't feel they have that position anymore. Many of you are taking a risk because you only live once. 
Many of you took a risk going against the grain, going against this situation, even though the odds may have been against you, but I feel you were never meant to fail. You were always meant to take a risk without them. I feel this has definitely gone really far. Many of these energies are in too deep, drowning in a situation they were trying to finesse or manipulate or even intimidate you through scare tactics trying to arouse your fears. These are energies who wanted to cause some type of worry, wanting to trigger you, but I feel they're in too deep. There's no way out. The only way out is to try to make some type of amends with you, but there is no respect. There's no trust here. There's no foundation. And this is why many of you are hesitant to even deal with this because you see it as a, a Ponzi scheme where someone feels like they're too big to fail, but they're failing. Someone is failing and trying to burden you or intimidate you. In fact, these are energy who now feel they're cursed. They feel like they curse themselves by trying to create a burden for you because in creating some type of burden for you, they also created burdens for themselves. Hurting you only hurt them at their own expense. Now they're triggered to add the smoke and mirrors that they created, being misleading, embellishing a truth because you're not following their lead. Someone's triggered because you're not following and you're refusing to answer questions or refusing to give in. These are energies who are insecure, intimidated by you and very jealous. And they could be playing the victim energy of someone who is completely lost because they know you woke. Someone knows that you are woke to the mess and you're not dealing with the stress. <laughs> because in many ways, these energies are very mechanical, never thinking logically. And I also feel like they're moving in an energy where it seems like they're without emotion. They're just playing their part in a very toxic story. There's some mental health issues here. Someone's definitely very moody. There are behavioral issues where someone could also be hostile. Please take it how it resonates that it's not for everyone, but someone is definitely angry that you moved on. I feel like these energies regret creating some type of distance between the two of you because now something is exposed. Something has been revealed when it comes to them embellishing stories, being misleading when it comes to you, or even the pipe dreams and smoke and mirrors. Someone has definitely been careless with you, unreliable, and ir irresponsible. Because now they feel like they're on the outside looking in, now that you are rejecting your energy. I feel the more you reject their energy, the more salty and bitter they become. These are someone, these are energies who are agitated because of their own dismay, their own dysfunction. There's dirty money here. Someone could be doing something illegal to stay afloat and something isn't going to work out because this energy is coming out as homeless. There's no place like home. So someone is going to have to downsize or someone could be getting evicted but someone is definitely taking a loss when it comes to their stability and they're wanting to run back your way because they know that you are loyal yet i feel they are not i feel these are energies who are always investing in some type of scam some type of illusion some type of false narrative that they believe is going to be successful for them but i feel they only scam themselves by lying about you hmm. and leaving you on red, ignoring you, believing they could just move on without acknowledging the pain, acknowledging what they have done. And for some way, many of you, I feel like they could care less of ever acknowledging what they've done. And for many of you, they still won't. These are energies who abandoned something with you. They left you for dead. And now they're the ones bitter because now you're disassociating yourself. There could be some type of crisis because you're avoiding them. But many of you are no longer wanting to invest in them gaslighting you or having some type of psychological manipulation. But I feel in so many ways you are definitely living rent free in their head. Someone can't get you off their mind and they're wanting to escape their problems. Hmm. 
Someone is wanting to escape their problems and this is why they're sitting in this bitter energy. It's a hard pill to swallow to realize that their lies and their deception has brought them to this place. I feel it's somewhat poetic. Someone is definitely receiving poetic, poetic justice for their cruel or oppressive ways of being a tyrant. This is someone who is always trying to cause some type of emotional drama for you, who is now wanting to love on you. Disguising it in a way where they're pretending to want some type of peace. This energy wants to send you a message, but they have yet to change. It's only bait. Someone wants you to take the cheese, but I feel there's no long-term investments when it comes to this energy who is now on the rebound. They're just not liking the fact that they're being singled out in this mess they call a life. Someone's definitely sitting in a space of misery. And we all know misery loves a little company. This is why they're wanting to love on you, but I feel you have already taken a leap of faith. But this time, it's in the right direction as many of you are now starting to feel you only live once and you can't wait for some someone to see their false ways for what it is because you're no longer answering or asking any questions because this energy has always seemed to fail you every time when it comes to the truth yet now that you are woke to their toxic ways someone is having to calculate what they've done there's a lot of mental issues or mental stress attached to this situation where someone is upset that they, you were finally able to leave or detach yourself from this situation <sighs> now it seems they want to announce something they want to say something to you but it feels robotic it feels like it's not real like they're not being authentic i feel like this energy wants to announce something where they may be trying to oversell a situation or even themselves through a tempting offer just to cover up their stench of their true nature. I feel this energy is on a mission. This is someone who is on a mission to make you feel something was a misunderstanding but many of you know better than that. I feel this is someone who was moving against you intentionally because they thought they were too big to fail. Someone never thought that you would see your truth or even be able to defend yourself when it comes to this. There's too many involved. This is where the intimidation comes in. Someone was definitely pers persuading others through their position or their power, which only caused an illusionary trap because now they feel rejected for their jealousy, wanting a spotlight, being a drama queen, and being bitter when it comes to being plastic. Someone was not being authentic or true to you or even self. They just created a lot of black magic, a lot of dark energy to affect you in some type of way. Yet I sense it never affected you. It only affected them. And this is why they are bitter because the drama they caused or tried to cause never really worked many of you are able to turn your pain into power very capable of getting through the stress or this mess and someone definitely underestimated you in many ways when it comes to an illusion someone's trying to distract you emotionally but I feel many of you are trying to rebrand yourself rebrand your life and this energy is starting to get desperate because they have no control after testing your boundaries. These energies were trying to sideline you. They tried to sideline you so that you would be guarded, full of sorrow, because of the gossip, the rumors, the lies. Someone thought it was all fun and games just to watch. These are energies who are now getting a taste of their own. Wow. Someone's getting a taste of their own medicine after you had to let go. You just said, fuck it. Many of you are definitely moving on from someone who stressed you out intentionally. You're starting to water your own grass and you're juggling many things. But I also feel you're thinking bigger. Many of you are looking at the bigger picture when it comes to reinventing yourself. Many of you are going solo, promoting self, and you're stripping yourself down to nothing to do it. 
I feel many of these energies cause you to strip something away. Shape up. I feel you're consumed by a new sense of passion, a new sense of self. And I feel you are one of a kind in doing so. As I said before, someone definitely underestimated your energy, your power. Because I feel your intuition has been enlightened. Someone couldn't finesse you. Someone couldn't get over on you. And you're staying committed to self. Looking for the exit. And being smart about this. For many of you, you can see that these energies have a hard time with truth. Or even acknowledgement of anything that they have ever done. Many of you feel you won't ever get answers from this energy. And you're completely right. Because these energies are so stuck in some false illusion. That they will always hold on to this false narrative. This is why in so many ways you feel like they just can't be trusted. Which is rightfully so as it seems they are always sitting in some type of illusion. And sticking to the stories they've told. I feel someone wants to create a narrative where they believe there is a big misunderstanding. They would want you to feel like you didn't see something or you took them the wrong way when I feel you're only standing on facts and they know it. Someone knows that you're standing on facts and you're not believing in the harsh lies that they even tell themselves because no one's believing it. Not you. Not even them. But as I said before, these are energies who are trying to cover up the stench of their nature. I don't feel like things are never really truly what it seems to be when dealing with them. Because it's the same lies or energy that pushed you away that they're still trying to convey. Pretending like you didn't see something for what it is when you saw exactly what they were trying to do. I also feel this energy has a lack of effort. Someone is still pretending uh, to be passive, even though they're holding on to a lot of guilt. And as I said before, this energy is wanting to reach out, possibly even talk. They're wanting some, some type of communication to go on here, but they still won't be clear about something. I definitely feel something unexpected will take place here regarding someone's mental state but I feel there's a lot of consequences to be had because they're now dealing with a lot behind the scenes I feel like these energies left abruptly or they feel like you left abruptly please take it how it resonates, reverse the roles if necessary but there's some type of disappearing act with someone here someone feels like you're acting out of the norm but I feel these energies were careless when it comes to their attitude towards you. Now they're unwilling to give up, even though they didn't invest. These are energies who try to pull some type of trickster moves with silent treatment, hoping that it would provoke you or cause you to be curious. But this is them trying to ignore you, ignore the issues by not talking. Wow, and so many people here are just guilty by association. A lot of people knew what they were doing here. But they're still s sitting behind their excuses. Sitting behind some very harsh lies. I feel like someone is trying to figure out how to tell you something when it comes to their mental health or their overall well-being that has been brought upon them by karma and consequence. Yet I sense through all of this you'll still feel like something is fishy, something is off, something is not real when it comes to what they're saying and what they're doing because it's just not authentic. But I also feel it's just going to cause you to further tap into your intuition, your gut. And I feel there's no getting around that for someone who is definitely in denial about their bad attitude. I feel these are energies who try to create some type of silent treatment with you, then try to create an excuse for it, trying to defend their wrongs or defend their bad attitude. There's a clash when it comes to personalities here, where someone has a, a sense of entitlement, especially when it comes to their position. They feel like they have position to do what they want or create these lies.
This is someone who's creating a lot of confusion. There's a lot of deception through emotional pain. And someone is being very fraudulent when it comes to activity and behavior as they have been very spiteful, cruel when it comes to you. But these are energies who had unkind words because they are detached from what they feel or should feel when it comes to you. These are energies who feel they need to see you as the villain, yet they are the ones who have always been spiteful or malicious towards you. This is someone who is coming out as unreliable and oblivious, someone who has poor memories of what they have done, but I feel that's only to cover up the fact that they won't acknowledge what they have done. There's a lot of past trauma when dealing with this energy who definitely has tunnel vision when it comes to denial. I feel like these energies like to pretend to be innocent, but I feel these energies are very superficial. I feel like this energy may come in with some playful energy, but it's only a, a red flag of them still not wanting to acknowledge or be responsible for what they've done or the fact that they are very superficial when it comes to you. I feel there was really no real conversation between the two of you, yet they're wanting to keep something casual, not sharing real personal details because they don't want to go too deep. They're not wanting to go too deep on how they were keeping some type of grudge, resentful energy when it comes to you because they are definitely bitter, even though they do have love for you. Yet the fact that they have a very toxic way of showing it has caused many of you to just move on or hold back until you receive more. Many of you are not allowing this energy to love on you and make something more complicated. You have to walk away to gain your independence while someone is still trying to spread lies or create some type of narrative when it comes to you. There's a lot of talk about someone's dysfunction and the fact that things are now spiraling out of control. Someone is wanting to talk to you about it. As I said before, someone is dealing with some very harsh realities when it comes to their well-being, their mental health, and their stability. I feel someone could also be trying to tell you something about something that is coming up. It's bad news. Yeah. But many of you feel like there's just a lot of lies. Someone's just trying to cover up their tracks, and they have really no intentions of really being truthful towards you. So many of you may take what they say with a grain of salt because someone may not have true intentions when it comes to an apology. Something that is true and authentic when it comes to you. Many of you see them as making something more complicated than it needs to be because they're always trying to manipulate situations that is not even complex, but this is someone who always finds a way to make things more difficult than it needs to be. As they're never being straight or direct with what they need, they're always trying to be clever with their tactics, misleading and deceiving you. Yep, misleading you. These are energies who try to, who is trying to manipulate you through misleading you through false energies or impressions. Not being upfront about something, someone is holding something back someone is wanting to tell the truth but not the whole truth many of you have no expectations of ever being compatible and many of you are just waiting for someone to stop pretending this is someone who is pretending to have some type of memory loss someone's trying to forget the details someone is acting like they um have some type of amnesia or some type of mis mental issue where they can't remember things but I feel that's only keeping you guarded towards them because you know that they're vengeful or even vindictive, holding a grudge or keeping some type of resentment as they're always finding a way to act in some type of malice with you. Wow. But I feel this is someone who has a lot of addictions to toxic behaviors or negative ways of thinking. This is someone who is very reckless, codependent, and lost. I feel like this is someone who is lost and unsure and how, of how to move forward after breaking a bond or breaking your heart. But I feel this energy is so overly confident about self is the reason why you never got the energy or respect that you deserve. They're too superficial and caught up into self. There is no depth within their character and this is why you don't expect anything from them. 
not even the truth, because they always sabotage things. I feel this energy lacks self-improvement. They're always sabotaging situations, yet they're wanting to communicate with you discreetly. But this coward energy of someone who's emotionally voided, fearful, because you ran, but I feel they're also realizing they don't have a lot of options. Especially when it comes to their controlling ways. This energy is coming out as a tease who is reclusive. They feel like you need time away and this is why things have just gone dead. Someone is definitely trying to tap into some pet peeves, irritate you, thinking that you are easily irritated, but I feel that was a big mistake. Someone definitely pulled your car for the last time because you vanished or you're very suspicious. Probably looking at something from a different perspective so, because someone is always trying to give you broken promises. You can't rely on them. They're always pretending not to be fake. Now you could be keeping something private. Someone feels like you're keeping something back. You're holding back or you have something big that's going on that they're not attached to. And someone definitely wants to be a part of your new beginning. I feel these are energies who never saw you moving up or getting over this. They always felt like you would always come running back or seeking attention or seeking some type of connection with them. These are energies who was definitely trying to trigger you with silence or some very toxic ways. In fact, I feel they had tunnel vision when doing so. So the fact that they're trying to pretend that something never happened or they're not dysfunctional is a complete lie because they're in a place where their drama has caused a lot of chaos and their life is in some type of state of disorder. Something is highly unstable because someone is playing the fool or pretending to be oblivious to their own actions because things are spiraling out of control regardless. Regardless of what they say to you, someone is losing and losing big. I feel like someone is wanting to come in with some jokes, their energy, playful energy, pretending like something was just a phase, but many of you are not taking that. Many of you are not allowing someone to pressure you or put on some type of illusion that you're no longer believing. As I said before, you're woke to someone's toxic ways and they know it. Let's get some more energy here. Confirmation here. Yeah, someone is definitely shining in, hiding in the shadows because they know they made a lot of broken promises through their toxic behaviors and they could be hiding because they're wanting you to make the first move but in so many ways someone is realizing they're needing to reach out. I feel there's an intense vibe between the two of you and someone wants you to be open because they're open 24-7. They're just trying to play it cool. I feel these are energies who look past you, look over you because they saw you as being the underdog. So they put on some type of false persona. Now they're starting to understand the truth when it comes to you. I feel someone is now understanding something was always a losing game, trying to block you out, shut you out, because now their nerves are starting to kick in. Someone thought that you were going to read between the lines or they didn't expect you to read between the lines when it comes to their resentment or their grudge against you. But I feel their nerves are starting to get, kick in because they know that your heart is guarded. They feel like your heart is guarded because of the fact that they look past you, look through you. But I feel many of you already know it's because of their childish ways. Now you're all in their head. Someone's all in their head about shutting you out or throwing shade towards you because this was a full-blown attack on your spirit, your mental state, your energy. And this is why someone created some type of illusion when it comes to you. But now they're wanting to send some type of love. Someone is wanting to send you love after putting on the performance of a lifetime when it comes to their dark ways or hidden agendas. This is someone who also have community ties. They're trying to get others to see you in a different light. Now they're trying to reverse that. Many are looking at them like false energies or people who try to mute you. Uh, laugh about you. Now they're praying that something changes. Someone is praying that you don't see them in this dark energy. Someone is praying that they can have access to you. But you're not hearing it. I feel these energies are praying for forgiveness. 
like you're so over that same old thing different day you know you're ride or die and so do they they just know that you're no longer on the same page with them you have to surrender and release to find a true sense of peace hmm. to actually heal your own heart now someone is regretting the third party, so the fact that they were trying to blind you through confusion, being inconsistent, someone is wanting to resurrect something with you because they know that you are rare, but I feel this has already gone down the wrong hole. I feel this has gone down a very dark rabbit hole that may be endless. I feel many of you feel like you were dealing with someone who just would never stop. Never stop when trying to affect you or trying to annoy you. And now someone is regretting their community ties. I feel this is someone who was trying to paint you in the worst light. Just to gain some type of sympathy for others or intentionally hold you back. Thinking you'd eventually fire back, try to defend yourself. Yet I sense you took another route. Leaving them to deal and focus on their own mess. As it seems their life has become chaotic and crazy for their senseless war they tried to force on you. They started this and now they're gonna have to deal with it. As this energy has get, gave a lot of tension in this, hmm, I feel like the energy they gave is now what they receive, especially when it comes to the community ties this is why someone is wanting to seek your forgiveness for blocking you out but for many of you you just feel like it's too late there's too much damage done here and you're tired of wasting your time on people who's trying to mock you or bait you in i feel like there's a lot of memories tied to this connection and someone thought that you would be tied or bound to the emotional history of this situation or the trauma bonding energy someone thought that you would never truly walk away maybe go silent for a couple of months maybe a year or two but never like this i feel someone definitely wasted their time trying to provoke you now someone is trying to um starting to understand the harsh consequences of trying to block you out or trying to change you or trying to put you in a space of regretting your choices someone wanted to make you feel like a fool Yet now they're dealing with their own insecurities. I feel like this is someone who knows that you don't need them. But I feel through the history, you definitely try to create some type of bond with this energy. That has many of your ancestors rolling in the grave. But I feel you're no longer wanting to compromise with someone who is not trying to compromise with you. I feel someone will definitely waste a lot of trying to, trying to bait you in, provoke you, or use the past as some type of tool, manipulation. Because they are starving for your attention, but someone should have never completely changed on you. I feel someone definitely did some type of 180 on you. Now they're belligerent, upset, because you're no longer willing to share. This is someone who had a lot of broken promises, and they're coming out as... An imposter someone who is empty when it comes to truth and value and this is why they're sitting in a space of insecurities because they know they're guilty someone knows they're guilty of trying to destroy you or laugh behind your back create some type of dysfunction by stringing you along someone is trying to publicly embarrass you someone's trying to embarrass you by creating obstacles hoping that you would be easily bothered by their mouth of lies because this definitely became a sticky situation where someone was holding a grudge and setting you up to fail and many of you are now realizing how they were truly laying it on thick and trying to play the nice guy but in actuality this energy was oversharing about you talking about you creating some type of narrative about you wanting others to believe that you were a problem or you couldn't be trusted yeah, like since when everything was said and done, they are the ones who can't be trusted. I feel like a lot of people are now realizing they had a mouthful of lies and was trying to bother you emotionally, financially, stability. They were trying to affect you in many ways and they're being very cryptic about it. For many of you, you've been dealing with this for many years of someone aiding and abetting and dismissing you. 
I feel for many of you, someone wanted you to be silent. Someone didn't want you to defend yourself, but I feel karma's a bitch, and someone's getting exactly what they deserve. Because whatever they sent your way is now starting to crash and burn. Someone's definitely defected by their deceit, not just you. There are many involved here, and a lot of people got hurt by their cryptic ways. Because you're leveling up regardless. As I said before, someone is wanting to be a part of your victory. Wanting to be a part of your success, your future. Because you're using your third eye energy. You're using your intuition. And I also feel like you're getting spiritual help. Ancestral guidance. To even do so. This was a witch hunt. Where someone was being very condescending or trying to discriminate when it comes to you wanting you to settle when it comes to life but I also feel they thought that they were going to make some type of turbulence for you when it comes to this mob like mentality where many of you definitely need an encore for how you chose to handle this these energies are definitely skating on thin ice and learning some lessons when it comes to not being grateful or having any gratitude, but I also feel like they're self-absorbed, still living in a false reality when it comes to this breakup, but I feel many of you are about to put them in their place as many of these energies are having to eat their words. Someone is eating every word that they've said about you, oversharing and being cryptic wanting others to believe some type of narrative about you someone is wanting you to fail but i feel you were only destined to win i feel these are harsh challenges i feel many of you have learned a lot through the rain and the pain now you're using that to build your foundation be better do better while they're still sitting in their own mess Yet I sense in so many ways, these energies are trying to figure out how to tell you something that's really big or really bad. Especially when it comes to them. I feel this news has a lot to do with what they're going through or what they want you to believe. As this energy is coming out as a bugaboo. And for those of you who do not know what a bugaboo is, this is someone who is always in your face and seeking some type of approval even though they know they don't deserve it these are energies who want your energy or your attention no matter how they get it <laughs> but many of you are maybe too busy something you're possibly on a schedule <laughs> someone feels like you're in a rush when talking to them you're in a rush when meeting up with them and they also feel stressed out by it. this is bugaboo energy of someone who is sitting in a state of depression trying to put the pieces together but i feel they're always going to come up short someone's going to come up empty for wasting time with broken promises or even trying to embarrass you publicly because now they're the ones easily bothered and going through the stress and starving for your attention this is someone who is trying to backtrack the things they've done or said many of you don't believe it after all they have taken you through because they may be trying to speak up on what they've done because of the karma they now receive i feel like someone could also be sick this could be not figuratively speaking someone could also be in a space where they don't have a lot of time left or they're dealing with something that's very harsh this is why they're trying to bug the crap out of you because they feel like you ran away because of their bad choices. I feel like they're stressed out. I feel like their mental health is being affected as well. Wow, someone knows they made a bad choice in trying to give you a fake apology. This is coming out as someone saying I'm, uh, something of the nature of I'm sorry that you feel a way about what I did or just something very loose in that nature someone is wanting to set the record straight about a, a fake apology or just being fake or just trying to put you in your place someone is trying to create some type of argument chaos someone wanted you to defend yourself so that they can bring more attention more chaos make something more complicated when they're the ones now living the nightmare someone wanted you to live a nightmare someone is wanting to set the, the record straight about trying to kick you to the curb or the fact that they were quick to the curb, but you don't want to hear it. 
someone feels like you're not wanting to hear their lies or their excuses and they're very emotional about it. This is someone who is keeping a lot of secrets, possibly realizing they can't replace you or they can't copy you and they're starting to feel like they got caught up. Someone feels like they got caught up in something that is now outdated and expired because you are only elevating, centering yourself and growing. Many of you feel like this is just a place of caution. There's too much drama when dealing with this situation. And many of you could be standing your ground, ready for battle. Many of you already know the truth. I feel many of you already know the truth when it comes to their deceit, their backstabbing ways, or the fact that someone is a traitor, someone betrays your trust, or someone is always trying to violate you. And there are people watching enjoying this mess and this is why many of you are tired over the drama many of you are over it over the toxic ways someone is coming out as poison even though they don't have any reason to hate you not at all but I feel you're protecting your energy from someone who is always putting on the show worried about appearances someone is trying to backtrack and burn the evidence against them they're trying to brainstorm on try to, how to fix this, on how to get you to feel like they didn't throw this away. But in, in so many ways, they know they screwed this up. Now, someone is sitting in a space where they're in a heavy head space of grief, loss. Someone's trying to get through it every step of the way, but things are still torn in pieces. Things are still falling apart. Someone is worried about what you're interested in or what you're attracting. Someone knows that you are full of ideals or very capable of having more as they see you as the diamond in the rough. Someone definitely res regrets trying to put you in their place or not putting the pieces together. Someone should have checked themselves when trying to fight against you at all costs. Someone should have spent more time invested in family and kept their promises. Now it seems things could be going up in flames when it comes to a separation, but someone is feeling like they should show you how much they truly care. I feel like this energy could be coming out as a fake friend or a fake or connection that many of you are now seeing was false. There was nothing sugary about this energy and you're tired of trying to ride it out because of someone else's insecurities. Many of you are now seeing something for what it is, and someone never thought that you would get to that point. And they just might be a little sick about it, because now things are way more dysfunctional or, to or toxic than it ever was. But as I said before, someone is really trying to figure out a way to, to tell you something, something you don't expect. Hmm. But I feel things have definitely gone from sugar to shit. Especially when it comes to their expe expectations when it comes to you. I feel things have definitely fallen apart for those you had to fight behind the scenes with. Through private battles where their actions have not gone without consequence. Even if you can't see the consequences of their karma, doesn't mean it's not taking place. Many of you are seeing something for what it is when it comes to this situation or this connection where someone is definitely receiving consequences for their actions as well as their betrayals as it definitely wasn't worth the connection or the relationship. Now it seems they may have to watch you win in spite of everything they've done as they now see you as a risk taker who bet it all and it all came back tenfold. Regardless of what you think, you're definitely highly favored, heavily protected. Hmm. And I feel your victories are a cause of celebration. Hmm. I feel there's a cause for celebration where your guides and ancestors are truly proud of you for rising above this or forgiving many, even if you don't feel they were even sorry. But I feel you already know a truth. You know enough to move on. You know enough to know that you're in phase and not allowing someone to hustle you or build some type of false narrative. Many of these energies are, are obsessive, going broke, needing help. 
and they could be in the energy of creeping or watching from afar even though they know they cause this confusion someone is wanting to make an offer I feel someone is wanting to make an offer but they feel like you're unbothered which is really triggering them because you may see them as someone who just can't be trusted I feel you you are very suspicious of this energy because all of the talk that they have put against you or they're always talking about you now they're putting in you put them in a space where they're now reflecting on how they ignored you they started tripping on you because now you're uninterested many of you are not interested in this dirty offer because you see them as a wolf in sheep's clothing. Many of you could be moving in silence and trying to escape these scare tactics as now someone is realizing all of the moves they made against you were always meant to fail. Someone is realizing the grudge they held against you only brought them karma because now you're moving on and they're just wanting to kiss your butt. But many of them already know you dodged a bullet by retreating or walking away from this many of you ran to be honest and they are extra triggered by the fact that you see a truth or you can see through their toxic ways and that's really starting to trigger them because now they're on the outside looking in and they're looking real confused on which way to go with this i feel these energies really hit a rock bottom when it comes to you and now your ancestors are wanting to applaud you for what you've been through and what you had to overcome. Let's get some final energy here and I'm going to let you guys go. Of course, if you enjoyed this, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Thanks for sticking around, guys. I really do feel like you had to move on from this and this is why someone feels like you dodged the bullet and this is why they want to kiss your butt for it. This is someone who knows that you had to disassociate yourself from this because things just became too chaotic. There was almost no one to trust. Now someone regrets trying to fake something or play some type of role because now it's just played out. You've moved on and you're seeking a new beginning and someone is wanting to be a part of it. But everything that glitters is not gold and that's one thing you have to learn from this because no one was able to put you in your place. You're unfazed and you're not dealing with the family issues. I feel there's a lot of issues attached to this situation where there's a lot of arguing and fighting people at war not just with you but with self and someone played a dangerous game by trying to dig up dirt on you or smiling in your face and doing the most behind your back now sugar is turned to shit and someone is trying to retract their imposter ways because someone has bruised their ego Someone's trying not to be affected by the fact that now you have a cold heart when it comes to you. For some of you, you don't have a cold heart. It's that you're no longer putting up with the games, someone's player ways, or the fact that they're caught up in something that is just an endless cycle of no facts. This is someone who is trying to flex on you fake flexing, bullying you, and now they're starting to understand that they can't replace you, they can't feed off of you, they can't copy your style. Someone is wanting to intimidate you, wanting you to be bothered, yet I feel these energies are coming out as a spiritual hater. Someone who is definitely offended by your growth or the fact that you are moving on without them. These are energies who feel like you're just cock blocking them. These are energies who feel like you're blocking them because they ain't shit. And on top of that, you also may see that they're emotionally, mentally, and financially bankrupt. These are energies who want to make an offer but have very little to offer. These energies wanting you to accept something that isn't changing at all. They're cloud hungry and they want access. Many want access to you or just want to come back but it's the same thing different day they're just very curious about you but they already know whatever they were trying to do was played out there is nowhere to go with this they were just wasting their time trying to create some type of narrative where you become stuck or put in position to need them someone abused their power and now they've gained a prickly 
reputation for it. Someone has a bad reputation for doing this. Someone has a history of creating false narratives or being fake, phony, gold digger energy of someone who is very dramatic. Someone's always starting some drama. And I feel these energies try to abuse their power, trying to keep you stuck because you're light. Your light irritates their demons. And they know there's no second chance left here. We're trying to take something from you that didn't belong to them. These energies are coming out as spiritual haters, spiritual thieves, who were trying to steal from you physically or emotionally, not wanting you to gain the respect or admiration that you deserve. Someone wanted to block that from you. Someone's trying to block your blessings, hate on your happiness, hate on your abundance, because now they're sitting in a space where they have car issues, they have no car, something is being reposed, something is being taken away from them. In fact, they're losing a lot of things. Something is falling apart because of their reckless ways, and they see you growing, stepping into your power. And I feel many of you are doing that unapologetically. As I said before, they're gonna just have to watch you win, because many of you are definitely too busy winning. There's no chasing, you're fed up. And someone's wanting to make an offer, they may even owe you money. You never know. Yet I sense even though you're being the bigger person, doesn't mean you're gonna let them back in. Which, I don't feel like that's gonna sit well with them. As they have taken too many wrong turns in this situation where they were bound to get lost in their bitter and spiteful ways. Even their resentment, as it may be next to impossible to regain the trust that they have broken with you. Yet I sense, if they're mad, let them stay mad. Because whatever they're holding on to may be all they have left of you. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading. And